Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face, and welcome back to the T0 to T6 Abyss series. Well, I guess you can't really say that we're doing progress towards the T0 to T6 Abyss series in an economical sense, but we are in terms of knowledge sense, and that is that we're going to be testing out with my character right here, used for the uh, the T0 to T6 Abyss series on the Tessa. We're going to use test some T5 fits. We previously tested this fit before. This is the same fit. This is uh, the same exact fit we use for the T4 um, the T4 electrics, but we're going to be using it for T5 with implants in. Uh, the difference is before we did a test with uh, full high grade Asclepian clones and with a bunch of extra implants. Now I'm just going to test without any kind of uh, a, like uh, accessory implants, like just the Asclepian implants, just so we have the good tech. Because the main point here is not, I'm not. I don't doubt that the tank is enough. I'm very certain, 99% sure the tank is enough. The main thing I want to test here is whether or not we can do this in a timely fashion with this amount of DPS we've got. That is the main thing I want to see. Because uh, if we have enough DPS, then it will, or like a sufficient DPS to survive these, then that's a good sign. Because I'm not so experienced with the Zealot as the Gila, for example, so I have a lot better feeling of what is required for the Gila and what is not for the T5 slash T6. And even then, I don't do a whole lot of T5, I mainly do T6. So I just want to see how this feels. Oh no, this is not a good way to test time. This is the Leshak wave that she's doing pretty quickly, but it's all right. We'll get through it anyway. And we can also evaluate the individual waves as well. I see how okay, how long does this take did this wave take? Seven minutes, or then that's not a good sign. Okay, you see a big volley right there from all the Lesh but it's all right. Activate the arm repair, which could be good to activate. See, is there anything in range? Everything's really keeping range. That blinding also will want to take that guy out. Maybe we can soon attack this renewing over here. Renewing is going to give her more reps. It's going to be annoying. We need to get a bit closer. We need to get a bit closer. That's one thing that will be great about blinging the afterburner later is that we'll be able to be a lot speedier. Get close to these guys a lot quicker. Okay, take out this renewing Leshak. The rogue draws want to keep close it seems. I don't know what they're doing over there. Usually I have a, or well, at least I have a feeling that the usual pattern of uh, fighting is that they just charge at me while the Leshaks are shooting from long range. But they seem to be wanting to hubble up and close with their Leshak buddies. Probably to get some remote reps. See now the frig is getting in a remote reps of some sort. No. Okay, I want to take out that blinding guy because he's just going to pull range so far. So I, just before he's able to get far away, I want to take him out. Let's get close to that blinder. We should also deploy drones. Drones are important. Oh, our grouping is a bit weird right here. Why is it? Oh, it's a bit weird how the grouping is working right now. I should have repaired my drones. Lock up everything right here. I want to shoot. I don't know why I stopped shooting. Okay, take out this Leshak. The main thing that I don't like about the Leshak wave is that they like uh, have a t they have a tendency to just kite away, and that can take a long time. Otherwise, it's a really quick wave. We tank really good. It's uh, actually a really chill wave. Sometimes also the newts can be very deadly. That's something you want to think about. But it should be all right. They have very good capacity in the electrical side. It's just that you really don't want to get neutered out with the Zealot because unlike other ships like the Gila and Cerberus and non-capacitor reliant on their weapon system based ships, uh, it is reliant on capacity to use this weapon. So if you have no capacity, you're completely incapable of doing any damage. So you have to live on the mercy of getting a few blips of capacity to use some guns uh, or just die where you are. <laughs> it's, it's a very... Uh, tough experience when it comes to capacitor and the zealot or mine based ships in general that are relying on lasers sacrilege uses missiles it's a marion based ship okay so this t5 room went really well no problem three minutes or a little bit over three minutes which is actually a bit slow for a leshak wave actually because they can be a lot quicker than this especially with the gila you can just have this drone shoot everything but with more skills and potential implants in the future, we can have more range as well. Because we've not got heavy as our cruise level 5, we've got level 4. Get 10% extra range with that. There's room for improvement right here. But we're still able to do this in a timely manner. Okay, recall drones. Scorch. Let's go. Have we got minus 70, minus 50, minus 70? Best to get my 70 to be honest, then we can get a good representation of time, but sorry. Okay, uh, starving Vedmac. This is the way where tank is no issue whatsoever. 
because we've got so good tank against Triglavians. We've got Thelma Armor Hardener right here. It's really good. They can get like, we'll get big volleys at times. That's stuff that will happen. But we just have to make sure we take out these Red Max really before they do, start doing significant damage. Uh, we'll use Scorch. These Damavix are already on the case actually. Let's see, land a volley right there. Like some damage here at this uh, Fedmac. Keep a range 10 kilometers is a good idea. Actually, keep a range 7.5 is even better. Weapon. And con flag. And drones out. Drones out. And we've actually got perfect resists already reacted with the Leshak wave. Oh, we got EM damage. That was actually from those drones. So we're going to get a bit more tank as time goes on right here. I should have actually reset this. We can actually just reset this already. I'll get a bit better tank that way. Okay, and then keep the range, 7.5. Look, now we've not got a bunch of wasted damage in the EM department. Oh no, Acolyte's taking damage. Web, 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 web. We're so slow, we can't keep up with this red map. We need to be able to web him. We can't web him. That's unfortunate right there. We can overheat the web a little bit. We get a bit closer with the overheated web. Because we need to have that web to be able to get closer. Oh, it's not helping because we've got a tangling dam out, that's why. We'll take the tangling dam out after this bed mech right here. pre webify that Damovic so we can take him out straight away afterwards this damage we've got right here is very low 375 damage but I mean the drone is like 400 okay we'll go to transfer conduit Imperial Navy which will do uh, so have some decent amount of tracking hopefully we'll be able to take him out considering we've got remote reps from the two Ved Max right here Come on, land some volleys, zealot, and drones as well, helping a lot. Oh, web, web, web turned off. That's why we weren't doing a bunch of damage. Now we're doing good damage. That's good. Oof, he dies very quick. Now they're close. Now they decide to be close. You just fell into my trap, Vedmac. Let's go take him out. Keep it range seven point five. We do so much more damage with the con flag, like almost twice the damage. So it's really favorable to be able to get in a range where you can use con flag, especially on Ved Max where you won't have much issues with tracking. It's just the range we need to be in range. Now look how quickly he's melting this guy. No issue whatsoever. Keep it range seven point five. Maybe that could be a good tactic because. I think the Vedmax maybe wanted to get closer to their Damavik friend who was taking damage to be able to remote repair him better. So maybe that could be a tactic to get the clo uh, the, the, the Vedmax closer. I'm not sure. It's just maybe there's a coincidence that they decide to get closer, but that seems pretty nice, actually. And they just suddenly get in the conflag range, doing so much more damage now. They completed the previous room in three and a half minutes. So we were like 16.5 before. So we've completed this room in like four minutes. So that's decent time. Okay, drones. Get to work. Web, web, web. Destroy these damas. Good. Get towards the... The transfer conduit. Because the real reason... The reason it's important to understand if the... Dual Tech 2 heat sinks is enough... For T5s, it's just because if it is, is it means a lot. Because then we don't have to do much. We only have to focus on our tank. We don't have to focus on upgrading our DPS or anything like that. And we will even have more DPS when we get uh, Heavy Assault Cruise level 5 and better specialization skills. So it's not like that. We will not have more DPS. But the thing is, we know that we don't maybe have to bling the heat sinks already yet. We can bling it later, you know. Because I want to get to T5 as quick as possible because then I'm going to uh, earn the most amount of isk as possible. Okay, as you know, we did that room pretty slow in five minutes, but it's alright. Five minutes is still good, actually, for T5, all things considered. Uh, Lucid, guys. Warden, Polder. All right, what I mean by slow is slow compared to the previous wave, but it was good time. Five minutes is a very good time, actually. I'm happy if we get five minutes. 
Like, if we know that two heat sinks is enough, then it means the only thing we have to do is increase our attack. So it's like very simple. Like our strategy for getting to T5 is very simple. All we need to know is, okay, we're going to upgrade our tank, then we'll be able to do T5. But if it's not enough DPS, then, or on tracking or something like that, then it's a different story. Then maybe, okay, the whole situation gets a bit more complicated. Uh, well, I mean, it's not that complicated. Just increase the DPS or increase tracking, whatever. But still, it... Um, it makes things a lot simpler and we also know that we can just have implants right here but i did a calculation before is that using a whole full high grade asclepian clone like this the price for this pod for the tank benefits is not as efficient as going uh, making upgrades to our ship the great thing about the or well, there are some this is like balance because we can have like a few asclepian implants and some buffs to our ship it's going to be the most like price efficient way to get uh get our ship to be able to tank the t5s decently well, we're not able we're not able to apply it seems oh we need the drones that's why so we can make uh, adjustments to the tank just to get the same level of tank just that we have maybe a few higher grade asclepian implants and buff the ship that's what is probably going to be what we're going to do to get the needed tank as quick as possible so we've got so good tank on this thing right here Zealot has got really good resists. Oh, do not need to open the map. Decent resist profile. Well, not actually as much as I thought. Oh, well, now the reactive arm hardened on, yeah. But 17.911 EHP is not too high. Okay, our drones are getting slapped. We need to recall them. This is where we go with Conflag because this guy is getting real close. Keep it right set point five. Deploy drones. I have drones going. There's a hold over here. Good. Keep it rain seven point five. I mean, it could be an option to have the Imperial Navy acolytes in the higher tiers because they'll have a lot less likelihood of getting destroyed since they have like double the HP of Tech Twos, even if it's a tiny bit less TPS. It should be. It could be a good alternative. Hmm. You can see how much DPS changes. 677. Light. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 682. So a little bit extra DPS. And also cheaper drones. That's that's a big thing as well. Cheaper drones to make sure that we don't lose a whole bunch. Oh no. Have we lost an acolyte? Imperial Navy. I want to use Imperial Navy for the good tracking. So a little bit extra DPS. And I think we can increase that DPS even further by using... Oh, we don't want this massive full screen right here. We can increase Amar Drone Specialization. We can increase this a bit. Then we'll get even more damage. Hmm. I'm just thinking of what we can do to get the most amount of damage out of our ship. Well, I think it'll be good with the Tech 2 drones, even though they are a bit flimsier. But at the same time, Acolytes can be more convenient. Like, you see this drone right here? He would have died if he was a Tech 2 drone. But usually, I very rarely have lost so many drones that I have less than one full set by the end of a wave. The only times that has happened, it has happened once. And that was when I once went to the next room when I forgot my drone set in space. So I just lost, lost half my drones and then I lost an extra, extra drone and I started losing my full set of drones. But the time there was really great. We finished in like 13 minutes or something like that. 13, 14 minutes. That's a really good time. So, so far, it seems very promising. So far, it seems like the only thing we need to do to get to T5 is to increase our tank. If you guys like who are watching this and do abyss regularly like in the electrical sites just use a zealot even if you any of you guys use a zealot because i know it's not a very popular ship to use in the abyss but if you are very like uh, very used to using the zealot in general uh, maybe you could if you could yeah, i would appreciate it a lot if you could suggest some things that okay maybe this dps will not be enough for t5 with these two heat sinks is there any way that i should look out for what i should i think about but so far, I think that the time seems to be all right. It seems to be perfectly fine for T5. Obviously, T6, I don't think this will be enough uh, time. But for T5, I think it is pretty good. It's pretty, pretty good, actually. 
So I'm very happy about this. Probably have to I'll have to definitely have to do more or more testing to make sure okay it will work because I don't want to take chances with very expensive ships. But I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good. And we can always, if we had a really bad situation, we could always like overheat or something just to get a little extra DPS. Not like it's going to make a big difference because we won't be able to. Well, it does make a big difference, but not like we'll be able to use it overheated the guns for a long time. But still, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. The future is bright for our Zealot in the T5 Abyss. <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.